Yo. Hey, bro, you see my check, bro? You misplaced something? Yeah, I'm looking for my check. This check? No, bro, not that type of check. You tripping, bro. We about to start the show, bro. You wildin', bro. Brendan, what's up? Caucasian, my friend. I'm missing my check, bro. You see my check? Yeah, does this look familiar? Nah, bro, you tripping, bro. I'm looking for a check. I'm looking for my check, man. I got to work, man. Hey. I can't help you. Oh, bro, I'm looking for a check. Ah, got you. Oh, yes. How they got my name on it? Yep. Amazing. Yep. Yep. You can count on me. Count on me. Count on me. Count it out. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm at Welty. James. And we have with us here today for our season premiere of God knows what season. Woo. Does anybody know what season we're on? 46,000. Yeah, I don't bitch. know. Our dear friend, John Geiger. He's hey, the owner of gang label. this bitch. Don't play with him. you guys for having me. And he just emerged victorious from the Heavyweight. Battle. Play some, with some him. Might, some might say. Some might say. <laughs> Two-time. Full size run yet. <laughs> we're going to talk about your sneaker history. The first thing we want to talk about, though, the shoes everybody has on feet. So, Wealthy, please tell us what you're wearing. Did something for her first time. The youth pastor, let's go. Yeah. Uh, got the ALD New Balance 550s. These ones aren't out yet, so I thought I'd wear them. Flex. <laughs> Flex. <laughs> it's that time. Um, I mean, you know, gang in here, so you know how I'm coming. Big hot top, you know, GF. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know how I'm coming, man. Hot top joints, my boy John had to put them on. You know, I got my name on the side. You know how I'm doing. I got to get a full flex. Um, you know, we've been down, baby, so we got to stay down. Victorious. And the dad socks, don't forget. Of course, dad socks never forgot, baby. I got the hand of stress GF1 highs, and I got the dad socks on. Come Ooh. on, oh. big GF gang in the house, <laughs> man. Did you, did you coordinate that? No, I actually had no. it with me. No, really. we don't did, do that. Did you distress yeah. the shoes by hand yourself? No, oh, did not. Shit. Can't do a couple thousand of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, well, here we come. We're coming spooky off the top. <laughs> Listen, Let's I'm just it. I'm just doing some black and white dunks. Don't call these pandas or I'll have wealthy choke slam. No, they're like hazy, right? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Isn't, it, hazy isn't it crazy, though, that like you're going to get comments, though, people thinking that those are pandas? You'll have to handle them. Okay. <laughs> John, obviously, talk about those that. are your own shoes. You love them. But what's the most regrettable sneaker purchase you ever made? Probably Yeezys. Yeezy 2s, oh. because mm. I, would, I got a couple for free, and then I, I wanted to, uh, I think it was the... We're flexing so hard today. Flex. Yeah. Platinum ones, I paid for them and they were super expensive. How much? Mm -hmm. I think at that time it was only like 3K. Right. They're a lot higher now. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But it's I guess the average is out if you've got a couple free pairs. And yeah, it's like, yeah, you pay it's like yeah. Wait, did you resell any of those Yeezys? Of course. We went over this last episode. That's how I started the brand. So, sold all the shoes. <laughs> you didn't think I resold any shoes? <laughs> Actually, I wasn't here for the last episode. So. I never, I don't resell anything I got for free. I would resell. Yeah, me neither. You know. <laughs> What'd you say? Me neither? <laughs> what? Go ahead, continue, man. <laughs> Let's talk sneaker news. The first piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is the iconic Nike Lab 21 Mercer store closing down in January. I feel like it was about time for this. It's a bit of a bummer, but I do hope Nike can continue this energy somehow. It feels like that era is in the past for us. John, do you have fond memories from the Mercer days? I got the black Yeezy 2s from there. And then I was gonna make uh, Air Force One. This is where you did the Air Force One. Shoot, yeah, there was both. Yeah, yeah. I didn't end up doing it, but you never did a bespoke Air uh -uh. Force One. That's a surprise to me. Yeah, DJ Clark had sent it up, but I think I was not gonna be in town at the time that I was allowed to do it or something. Like that. Brendan, what's your most memorable experience of 21 Mercer? I think oh running over there to try to catch the Nike Flyknit HTM Lunar Racer and just missing them out. You. Uh, for me, man, shout out to all my resellers. I feel like I got cool with all the resellers in New York because they be outside of this 21 Mercer all the time. And I'm always there shopping between stadium goods when they used to have open ceremony right around the corner. Mm -hmm. V files across the street. Palace. Look at you trying to get a plug. Boy, you so thotty. Yeah, Nike, uh, they let me buy the Virgil Off-White Presto oh. 10 the day before they came out. Oh, shit. At 21 Mercer. That's Keeps my... coming with the early flex. Bro, yeah. Early, early, early. <laughs> flex. <laughs> It's Team early. Here. Next bit of sneaker news. <laughs> the other day, there was a stock X code that leaked on the internet where you could get $100 off a purchase. Some shoes on StockX aren't even $100. You could get them for free and they can give you money back. StockX noticed that this happened and they canceled the orders made with the coupon. I can't believe people actually thought they were going to get away with it. This is a real story? Yeah, yeah, yeah this, is real. this is not fake news. Oh, I don't I don't. See that one? You're not a StockX shopper? Mm, nah. Never what? shop on nah. StockX? You no. not a StockX shopper. What are you buying with $100 off of StockX? StockX? Um, I'd probably buy like a, a gift or something for um, one of the nephews, t-shirt or something like that. Are the Geigers moving on StockX like that? I'm not even sure. 
You never used to be like checking like flight. I mean, I did when I was eBay. like starting out. Now it's just like yeah, I think yeah. the whole like scarcity model is just dying, and that mm. I just don't believe. I don't. You don't like, want your shoes to be super limited. No, not anymore. Just learning business and growing. No. We you always used to look up like the most expensive shoes on StockX, and one of them for the longest time was actually before you did your brand. There was like the gold a, Yeezys. Yeah, the yeah. the custom Yeezys Jeez. that you had done that were like going for like. I still regret tens of doing that. Of dollars. Why? Because I think that hurt my relationship with people around Kanye. As someone, I, I think the story went that Lasco was the brand. Mm -hmm. He sent me a pair, and I was like, "Hey, like, why don't we do this together?" He didn't have a following, so I got a percentage of like sales. But I think it hurt the relationship of you know. Oh, like why yeah. are you selling easy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because they just rebuilt them, and it's not like I designed them or anything. I just was a part of the deal. So, you know, we all know your love for Air Force Ones. But what is your earliest memory? Like, when did they first matter to you? I want to say Rasheed Wallace, but I could go maybe back further than that. Because I would, I would try to hoop in them. I was a basketball player. So okay. in high school, I couldn't wear them during the season, but I wore, like, AAU. Right. Because, you know, you didn't, like, take it that serious in the summer or whatever. Wait, whatever you but were I wore, in the like, high tops? No, I wore, like, mids, actually. Really weird, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Strap them in. The, in Pittsburgh, there's a place called uh, Kennywood. So every year you have Kennywood Day, so that's like the amusement park there. So I would have a fresh pair of Air Forces. So I, that's why I probably remember the first. Yeah. Did they help you out with the height requirement? Like, you know, probably it must not. be this I was tall. Ride. I was tall already. <laughs> okay. Wait, so you are you a fan of Air Force One mids? Is that like... Yeah, I'm good. I'm good on that. I like mids. I like all three of them. Because I just remember like early on, you were like Air, Air Force One high. Yeah. Like that's how you started getting... I'm not yeah. saying it's the only thing, but that's yeah. like how you started getting noticed in the sneaker space. Yeah, I mean, they were giving... They were letting me do... They were letting me do Nike ID. And make 20 at a time. Unlimited. I won't say it was unlimited. They would give me like 20, do 20 pairs. And you remember I'd post them back to yeah. back to back. I mean, that was from Nike. After you got off that and started making your own sneakers, like what was the hardest part in terms of building your own brand? Production. Yeah. Um, resources. Yeah. I mean, right now, I would probably say post lawsuit, it kind of like set us back mm -hmm. because of finances. But also, too, is like at a plateau of like, you know, I know Kanye is in the media right now for other things, but and when he said like to make it to the next level, he needed the resources and everybody was like, no, you can do it yourself. Swear. There's like a point where you can make Yeezy level, but if you want to go Louis Vuitton level, so we're at plateauing at like where we're at and it's like we've have never had a partner or investor. Yeah. So now we're about to grow and we're having those meetings. One, that's why I'm in New York, one of them. Because, you know, you get to this point, you can sell something online, but we haven't even hit retail yet. So now post lawsuit, the GF1s are allowed to be in stores. So we're gonna just, you know, take it to the next level. So I guess that's like the, I don't know if I got super off topic, but. No, 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 that yeah. makes sense. Weren't you like early on too, you were like making all the shoes like right there in the factory in front of you. Are you still doing that or? I mean, I don't make any shoes. No, I know, not you, but I mean like <laughs> the company. Man. It was such like a smaller like operation of like. I mean, it was, well, because it was LA, it wasn't really small though. I mean, he's been there. It was, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was, oh, I mean, they weren't, you know, like right now, I'm not gonna get into where things are made and how they're made, yeah, but yeah. production-wise for GF1s, our production now has like uh, like Doc Martin in there. So they're knocking out like 5,000 shoes a day. We're not on 5,000 per colorway, yeah. but I'm saying some of the collabs or some of the colorways, whether they're high or low, could be, but they're knocking those out daily. Is there a certain feeling to it when you pick the collabs that y'all want to do? Like from the difference in picking a collab in the beginning of y'all's career when y'all did your first collabs compared to like the collabs y'all choose now, is it a different feeling to it or the same formula? All the footwear collabs that I get offered, we've turned down. You know, I want to be a footwear brand. Correct. So for me to do those, it would have to make a lot of sense. It would have to be an Adidas or a Nike. But as far as the collabs that, they, like a Patron collab, mm -hmm. that made sense because there was a lot of details behind the scenes that went into relationships with Patron. But I mean, one of our first ones was like Forgiato. I would love to do Forgiato again. Mm -hmm. But um, a lot of people don't even like know about that because it was so early. Right. The collaborations aren't really about money because at this point, you see what it's the not... sweatshirt says, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I just, I just feel like it's oversaturated, and I think that people don't understand the difference between being a designer and then having your own brand. You're not just I a designer who works at a brand. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. If I, if I just collabed with, let's say, a deed or anybody, Reebok, New Balance, they would want me to come in do a colorway, change a couple things, and no disrespect to anybody have those collabs. I'm at a different level yeah. with my brand than that would be. They would have to meet my requirements more, more than my own requirements. Making a soul is so important. People don't understand how important your soul is mm -hmm. to have that patent. A lot of people, they just, they don't realize how many shoes get made off of the same sole. I already wanted to do that. Even when this started, I wanted to make a new sole for the GF1 because I wanted to own it. Mm -hmm. So now the new sole is getting made. 
there's gonna be there's gonna be a patent already being in place. So now I'm gonna own that sole, just like Nike owns their sole. Something so, to protect. You know, I, you looked at it like a sneaker designer or a designer clothes, whatever, and then you start learning business and you start being in rooms with these people, and then you're like, okay, now I see what Kanye was talking about, how he needs those resources. Facts. Because right now I need the resources to become the next Yeezy, the next Nike. I know it might be far fetched to say those names, but in my mind, I believe that. Mm -hmm. As you should. Yeah. John, so obviously we mentioned the Air Force One before, you know, a lot of people knew you when you came up through Air Force One, misplaced checks, all that. You've had this whole lawsuit with Nike centered around the Air Force One, but how much did the Air Force One inspire you in general to start making your own shoes? <laughs> oh man. The GF1 number one was an inspiration more so of Nego and Bape. Yeah. Because my take on it was going to be more luxury. That's what I'm good at. I'm good at materials, mm -hmm. chenille, those materials that aren't usually on shoes. Those were what I wanted to like tap into, and that's what I'm good at. People are really good at colorways. People are good at this. I'm good at materials and uh, quality. Where does that come from? What is your past life like that made you into materials with sneakers? John Geiger was already started from this, this definition of the, uh, a medium. So I, I was wearing, I was wearing, I would wear like Margellas, right? And they'd be uncomfortable. And I'd wear Jordans, but some of the collabs are gonna be like $400 in price point. Mm -hmm. If you took a silhouette, like a, a Bape or an, an Air Force One and you did a GF1, I can't just do the same leather. It gotta be like top notch, the best stuff. Got it. So you saw what Nego did, took an icon. How can I do the same thing? Yeah, I mean, also too, that, the lawsuit really hurt from how people perceive me because mm -hmm. you had the Z01, that was the first shoe ever. Hey. The 002, 002 low, yep. 003. Shoes that had nothing yeah, to do with, with existing. nothing to do with this, and then this one came, and everybody's like, oh, you're just doing that. And it's like, no, you're... You're discrediting That's why I wanted to fight catalog. so hard for it, because it was like, you're discrediting for all the other stuff. When it comes to John Geiger, like, when the brand, when did you realize for yourself or as a team, damn, I think we got something here. Like, Getting what was sued? that? <laughs> okay. Okay. And it's funny because everybody I talk to in business that are successful, that like, you know, have brands that are really doing well, the number one thing they say is you're gonna get sued. Wait, right? didn't fans say that your logo looked like yeah, theirs? So Which that to me that's crazy it's, because that it's was like, a big stretch. Yeah. We changed the, the logo, but we trade it was a trademark. It was just for trademark, it wasn't trade dress. Yeah. So the G logo, they came out there saying the end of it was close to a swig swiggle like the vans. They dropped it. Kurt Geiger was another footwear brand, he's an older guy. Yeah, Kurt, his name's Kurt Geiger. Okay. That's not your uncle or something? No, it's actually a really big store in Europe. Like in Brown's okay. Fashion, he has like a whole floor. Oh, it's shit. Women, women's shoes. At that time, we go into retail, we go into Brown's Fashion, I go into sell fridges, I go into huge, uh, big stores in Europe, so. and he stopped it because he, he didn't want another Geiger to be on the same floor because it was like considered luxury. They were gonna basically sue us. Mm -hmm. about Should've this. took it a 23 and me and seen like your we, like levels of crazy. like- <laughs> So we ended up talking- Separation, you're like- We ended like, up talking and as soon as these people know that I'm not backing down, that I'm serious about my name and my business, then it's like, yeah. they back down. So then right after that, there was a Nike one. So put it in a year and a half, a lot of people wouldn't be able to take that. Yeah. What was your reaction when you first named as as a defendant in that La La Land? Were you, were you good question, bro? Were good you question. mad? Were you scared? Were you like, I'm ready to fight? You know, it, it's funny too because that lawsuit, oh, you know, people simplify it as like John Geiger is getting sued by Nike, but of course it's an existing lawsuit where they threw your name in and then you get wrapped up to it. But but how did you feel when that first notice hit? I'm gonna try to say this so is not so like I'm an asshole. But I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. If I bring if I bring you into some legal stuff, yeah. how I grew up, that's how I grew up. If I bring you into some legal matters and you're you have to pay financially, yeah. I'm either gonna help you or give you the resources to help you, or like at least hit you up and be like, you good. Yeah. I didn't talk to Warren Lotus or uh, La La Land. Yeah, Alex from La La Land. Yeah. Is the owner. Not one time. So these are the original defendants yes. that, that you got. And on next mind to. you, at that time, La La Land was basically our factory. Mm -hmm. That was like, we ran it. Because Did you it, point to him? Yeah, he, yeah he's, no, been there. I've been there. he's been there. Don't get him to. No, no. Okay. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Trinidad James' yeah, name you know doesn't defend it so in the. You, when you go in this place in LA, you walk in, there's John Geiger shoes on the walls, yeah. like, there's banners and there's stuff. John and then Geiger. you have, you know, Louis Vuitton was in there yeah. to the left, and we were to the right. We made a deal where there was only allowed to be women's shoes getting made on the same floor as ours. So when the 002s took off, we basically had that factory. So I would bring people in there like Josh Vitas, who wanted to make his own shoe. I would invite those people there, give them the relationship and then try to work it out. I didn't give Warren Lotus the relationship, but I knew him. Yeah. And when the lawsuit came out, my business partner was like, you know we're gonna be involved in this. And I'm like, I don't know how, you know? And they were going after La, they wanted La La Land. Yes. But I didn't hear from either one of those the whole time. Not one yeah. of them. It's kind so, of fucked up. Yeah. 
I've just wondered this because it's a big uh, contention point in sneaker culture where it's like they say like the moles within the factories who are like ripping off your shoes and sending like the the last and all mm -hmm. that and like trying to recreate them. Did you ever like catch someone trying to do that to you? You'll have to handle them. Okay. I wouldn't say stealing the shoe, no, because our lasts are accounted for production wise. Mm -hmm. Again, at that time, you would have to see the factory. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I've slept there, you know? So it's like, <laughs> you no one's got stealing. A that yeah, no one's stealing anything. When you see other people that are, let's use the word inspiration, mm -hmm. or inspired by what you do, mm -hmm. is it flattering? Is it because somebody might be like, well, you're inspired by Air Force One. How can you be upset, not saying that you are upset, um, that somebody else is trying to do what, what John does? Inspiration, the word overall, is super touchy because in my depositions that's a lot of inspiration stuff came up mm. there's no way to like mm. you know what i'm saying there's no like in between right so everybody's inspired by something nothing new is under the sun correct you mentioned before you know you said that you in pittsburgh if something happened that you know you would uh yeah. take care of someone financially within a certain situation how much resources financially did you have to spend to fight this case <sighs> i don't even know if i can even i can't give you an exact number because uh, I don't, I don't even know. Six figures? Hold on. Ballpark as in like what I paid or what I lost overall? Overall. Uh, because if you talk about what you lost, I lost endorsement deals oh, well over millions. Like I think somebody there. might want to know what does it cost to like fight, fight a lot, Nike in court. Yeah. I think so. I think that's probably, maybe. Probably like 300, 400,000. I'm about to say. Yeah. Like and then your energy. Your time, your mental health oh, on my, top of I that. I don't want to talk about that. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. losing my weight now. Say that show. I gained, I gained Did you ever weight. have any tweets that you regretted during that time period? Because I know you were firing Good off question. a lot. I was ready for these questions, by the way. <laughs> <laughs>I know that you made a lot of noise in the streets because I had people coming up to me <laughs> saying stuff like, man, your boy got a covenant not to sue. And I was like, what the hell? I can't this, speak on that. <laughs> with, I, this, I mean, the lawsuit is, it's happened, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's happened. You're gonna give me some shit, man. No, no never. <laughs> never that, never no, that. No, no, I can't, yeah, I can't but, speak on covenant. But um, yeah. today's it's settled. That matters. It's over. You know what I'm saying? The past We're actually the on good terms. They Come said on, they respect man. you. Yeah, see, I got a, I got a problem with complex. Oh, what did we Come do? On. Because Come on. That statement that I posted, I sent you before I posted, but yeah. it didn't go through, actually. I, I realized that. I sent you it after, but I sent you it before. You got it after. I just gave you like a 10-minute heads up. That was a statement between joint Nike statement. and John Guy. Yeah. Yes. But I, I, we totally understood that as a joint yeah. comment between oh, you, you did and Nike. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh, I, I double-checked because you sent me the statement. And I've fought battles with I Nike had, people I too. I even had to give people the email to contact Nike's lawyers and yeah, say yeah, yeah. this is real. Yeah, I, if we mess that up, I'll take that on the chin. But I totally, totally understand that yeah, as a joint uh, statement of Nike saying we respect yeah. John Geiger, John Geiger well, saying you don't I got respect no chin, Wait, yeah. wait, did you, really, <laughs> did, did, you really, did you really feel like put some respect on my name like when that like... Yeah, because it was a kumbaya moment. Yeah. yeah. And I he, think that got, that's the know. coolest thing. I think that, like, look, bro, nobody, ain't, unless you will, nobody ain't talking shit about Nike, bro. <laughs> and when I say, like, talking shit, it's like, like somebody might be like, nah, fuck that, boom, boom, boom. Like, nah, bro. That was respect. You yeah, know I, got, what I got random DMs of people that probably work, I don't know if they're working Nike or not, but random DMs saying, like, well, we don't feel that way. Mm. Well, it doesn't really matter because your boss feels that way. So. That, was, that was Frank cooking, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, whoa, 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 whoa. No, I like, wait, I just feel like, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this was. Beyond the lawsuit, right? I felt like knowing you through all these years and everything you've gone through. It was deeper. It was a culmination of like, yes. everything you went through of like the Revis, you know, and you yes. getting royalties but not getting enough yeah. credit yeah. per se. The misplaced checks. Yep. Your words, not my <laughs> yeah. words, but you saying you making the Air Force One a little more relevant mm -hmm. in the game. Like all of that and Nike not acknowledging you through all these years. So when they finally said, we respect John Geiger. It wasn't just about this shoe. It, it was about, about everything. Yeah. Is yeah, that yeah. is that safe to say? Yeah, I would say that. That's probably why we're on good terms. <laughs> to be honest with you. So Again, John, for how much did you have to change the sole? Like we already changed the sole before the lawsuit. So was. this is the perfect shoe right here. No, there's a new sole. There's okay. New sole. The, okay. The stars are gonna be JG logos. Okay. And the lines on the side, the ridges, are gonna be like this barcode where you're gonna be able to like. I don't want to get. Uh, okay. 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 NFC. No, no, <laughs> not right now. At least the, sh the shoe is basically just my take on being like, you know, just better quality, the materials. It was brand new, uh, new buck. So it's white. So they uh. make the shoes and then when they're done about to put them in boxes, then they distress them, put on the machines and distress oh, them. Oh shit. Yeah. I think one of the reasons why this feels like a victory, the lawsuit was settled, but 
is that you didn't really have to change the shoe that much. It still looks like your work, you know? Uh huh. Look I good. can't really speak on it. I know, I know, but I'm <laughs> I'm speaking on it. That, that, that was Brendan Dunn, like not John Geiger. The dots on the front, those are it's, it starts making a J and a G. If you look at the other way, it makes a J and a G. Uh, that those dots were already changed. Mm -hmm. Is there okay. going to be a parade for you in Pittsburgh? <laughs> there might be. They got a mural up there. They're, they're, they're going to carry, carry you, gotta you think, to the though, streets. You got to think about Pittsburgh, though, right? When you think Never about been. Pittsburgh, yeah, you think of sports teams, right? So it's always sports. But in Pittsburgh, besides like Andy Warhol, no one had, like when you grew up, you didn't know you could get into fashion and stuff like that. It wasn't, it was sports or music. You know anybody else from Pittsburgh that designs anything? Right. So Not that's like the leading force James there Whitner? is like, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. But I'm saying, though, there's nothing else there that people will like look forward to, like young wise. Hey, John, every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they did or said last they week. That's decided by my shoes, bitch. the YouTube commenters. We make them switch out their shoes for something awful. I guess this week it's me for that episode with Joey Badass, where I was asking him for a fit pick with the Yeezys and the buff, so. Did they go straight to feet, or did you like? Yeah, I put them on naked. <laughs> Out of bed, right? Send us a fit pic. I need to see that. <laughs> nah, not sure. Wait, what's going on? You know what's on? crazy is that <laughs> in like six months, yeah. these are going to be something that like people are wearing on Instagram. Are those Mero? No, no. I got a five dollar shoes. Wow. Oh. It's not the worst thing ever, right? Shoe. It's actually pretty fire. You might pretty have to good. go hiking. You down to go hiking with me? Yeah, it hiking. might be the next. That might be the JG04. Nah. This is a new easy The BD01. My brother Geiger, you also know we do a segment on the show called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Drip meaning that it looks good, Flip meaning that you re resell, and Skip meaning that you don't fuck with it at all. Our first sneaker in Drip, Flip, or Skip is going to be the Undercover Air Force One. Skip! GTX. Has any Air Force One impressed you? Nope. In a while? No. Colorway wise? Nope. Material wise? No. <laughs> Do you think it could, or is it like you have to? No, it definitely on could, but it just has. I think era. there's a possibility that's going to happen in the future. This is a total hypothetical, right? <laughs> if Nike hit you and said, you know, you have to give up the John Geiger brand, right? But we'll to them? No, just uh, like you just stop. have to stop it, right? Uh -huh. But you'll forever be the king of the Air Force One at Nike. That you have Wait, the, is, that, is that a job title? That, yeah, that you have a, you're the executive decision maker <laughs> over Air Force Ones forever. I'm not giving it up. I, I think like I, I'm not saying you don't know like what I feel like but to build something and then people just come at you non-stop Whether you feel like how you feel like you're an outside person feels about it. Mm -hmm. They'll never understand that This is actually pretty fire though. I do think <laughs> that something's gonna happen in the future Just saying did you feel any type of way about the ambush dunk? No, I like you Yeah, I mean I was an ambush ring guy back in the day like 2008. You had the pow chain? Yeah, pow, I pow rings yeah. Oh, really? yeah. Did you ever give someone a pow with the pow ring on? Nah, Big Sean put me on a pow ring. <laughs> well, <back> the, <laughs> the OG um, pow man of them all. I kind of. There's like a Moab looking color of this too, which I feel like Nike's made like seven other times. So just a skip. I don't think you need a booty on the top of an Air Force One. Yeah, I don't really like this. It's got a little bit of Air Rivaderce DNA, which just makes me want the actual undercover yep. Air Rivaderce. If you can find those, really do sell them to me. You can't find that shoe anywhere. And I'm an undercover Nike guy, but no, I don't, I don't, I don't need this. Yeah, this is a skip, respectfully. But for some reason, when I skip shoes like this, the people that wear them, I'd be like, wow. They get mad at you? And somebody I respect, too. They'd be like, oh, okay, you like this shit. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, I feel like, nah, I ain't gonna say no names. Um, <laughs> I was totally going about to have them on. <laughs> nah, nah, y'all ain't gonna do my fucking ghost like that. She's on man. camera right Ghost about to be in there. <laughs> um, moving forward, we have the Nike Air Max Scorpion. You know, John, I'll start with you. Jeff Flipper Skip, sir. See, I like the crazy stuff. I, 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 would, I would cop these. I'm like seven foot though. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is a shoe I really want to see how it plays out. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I don't see it. I wouldn't wear the shoe, so it's a skip. But I would not be surprised with given like six months time that you're walking through Times Square and just see these on <laughs> one out of 15 people's and everybody's feet. giants. You did say Times Square too, that's great. <laughs> He's got a time that's machine. You He's got all the treads from Someone running out of JD Sports with a pair of these on, yeah. Yeah, it's a skip for me because this is a $250 shoe and we're about to be in a recession. Like, Joe Biden did not forgive your student loans for you to go spend the money on this. This is $250? <laughs> At this point in time in life, it's like, can I not go buy two, $3,000 pair of shoes? Of course I can. But does it just feel right in the moral mind yeah. after you done made so many shoes? Yeah. It's like working with Saucony and homework or whatever. It's like, damn. I got a mortgage. Yeah, it's like, nah, that's for 
That's for somebody who ain't me. You gotta unload those Beatles bear bricks to pay for it. Sold them all. And just, and just pay thing. for lawyer fees? Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> and put them cost cost. pillows. Yeah. More this, um, this right here is, this is a drip for me. The I like Nike when they do that knit on the top. To me, they do a really good job with that knit. Looks I'm like Cedric. remember those like the moon like the moon shoes when you were a kid and you'd put them on and they trampolines and you could jump higher. <laughs> That's what this looks like. <laughs> Moving forward to shoes. <laughs> Shoe number three, man. Panda. Restock. Restock. Oh, what? That's why you guys are talking about it. I see these everywhere. To me, this is secretly Nike's competition to the uh, 350, easy 350. Galaxy brand. John, if you had never started your sneaker brand and were just still John, no, 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 no. If you were still- He doesn't want you to have the brand, no, 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 no. John. I'm, I'm taking you out of like- I'm this. not selling it. No, because <laughs> you wear your own shoes now, right? right? But if you were still just John, John Geiger, the sneaker head, um, would you be into the Panda Dunks or not? Would you have had a pair? No, when I had Dunks, I liked SBs just because they were like more cushion and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was never into that. Those look like PacSun uh, Dunks. <laughs> Well, what's the zoomies? The zoomie dunks. Zoomies. <laughs> so I mean, oh, that, that's the journeys dunks. Yeah, journeys. journeys. That's what it was. There he is. You don't have a New Balance collab yet? No. Bro, ain't New Balance. Make it happen. It's a guy collab. Make it happen. Youth pastor. What, what do you Wealthy. got? Merrill. <laughs> yeah, Merrill collab. John, I must ask. Trip flip or skip? I will skip. Uh, Wealthy. This is a flip. Only, even though you're only gonna make like seven dollars off of it. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna not wear these, but I'm. You only buy them to flip them? Well, you can. So, I mean somehow contribute to Nike's world plan to make every single person wear this shoe? This is a drip. I'm never mad at this shoe. It's a, it's a plain, <laughs> normal, staple shoe. If it was a drip when it came out six releases ago, it's still a drip right Wait, now. How many restocks do they have of these? Six. Six? Teen. Oh, they're caking off thousands. Of you really have to wear this with like the NWO shirt because this really is the New World Takeover <laughs> or New World Order, right? John, why do people love this shoe? Why is this shoe the number one most popular shoe in America. I mean, just probably After like Air Force One. Probably just, is that not, I don't think it has nothing to do with the silhouette. I think it's more so the color. I don't think people are gonna buy them like, oh, I really wanted a dunk. I think it's just the color. Yeah, it's like monotone. It's just like, you can wear whatever. You can wear with anything. Yeah. Easy to get. Like this is what you get first day of school. And you see okay. like 10 kids wearing the same shoes. Right, 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 right. okay. It's either those at white Air Force Ones. I don't have any of them. So this is a skip. I can keep on skipping. All right. I don't have any. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you don't have any of them, so you're gonna cop it this time. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm good. I would have, um, I, and if I bought this shoe, I couldn't help but give it away. Uh, my brother Geiger, we also do outfits on this segment. And we have to do John Geiger outfits. Gotcha. So, outfit number one. Oh, Birds God. of Paradise, nothing nice. I'm pretty sure this is right when uh, Rivas got tr traded to the Buccaneers. All right, you get a direct, direct deposit that hit and you went and bought some Givenchy. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Was it uh, possibly 7-Eleven? Are those lows or highs? Of the it's the highs. 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 You know, you get a free Slurpee on July 11th. No, yeah. I don't really, I don't really drink Slurpees right now. I'm on it. You know, I'm trying, uh, to, trying to fit the leather pants. Now it's leather pants, pants time. Okay, okay, saying? okay. I feel like this is the era. I'm surprised this photo is like not deep fried. The Filters going crazy. Uh, <laughs> when Nate Robinson was running sneakers Instagram. Oh. <laughs> Nate cooked some photos for sure. Oh, um, is that a death row hat? John, you was outside, man. <laughs> you was death outside. Hat. This fit right here, you was outside, my brother. Uh, skip. Wealthy. The thing I love about this photo in this t-shirt is in this era, this t-shirt was like a million dollars, right? But then like two years later, this means like you're shopping at a discount store at the mall. It just like kind of went. It didn't hold value. Let's, let's be, this is when it came out. <laughs> no, that's what, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm not <laughs> so saying you know. I didn't get these three. I meant like, like this shirt was like a thing yeah. when it came out and then yeah. every other brand tried to make like a cheap version of. All those shirts that were a lot was like Watch the Throne shirts. Yeah. 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 I sold all those on uh, Grail one time when I moved to Miami the first time mm -hmm. and I just cashed out crazy. Got out with the like they were paying like triple for the shirt. How much was, how much did you I can't remember, but probably 10K from like maybe five shirts. Oh, T-shirts, yeah. yeah. Which is wild. Yeah. Well, with that said, it's a flip because you sold it. Brendan does. It's a sip. You said a sip. Yeah, I was like, he's sipping on the Such syrup. A thought. <laughs> sipping on Every the syrup. Every damn season. Do you think about these prior to saying them? Sometimes. Gotcha. We talked about on the way over what you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's always interesting where it's like, John has the most innocent face in the building, but it's like. I thought that was riffraff. Holding for a all the guns. <laughs> he's holding, there's no telling what he got going on right now. There's no telling what he's about to go do right now. Who's Silly goes the only one in here with a gun. <laughs> Woo! This is a trip. <laughs> it might be a bias uh, one, but it's and a, a bias clip. Trip. And a clip. Ooh. Oh, shit. Outside. Outfit number two. Let's get it. 
Okay. Oh, this is good. Come on, that's Miami. A good, that's, a, that's a good wrap. The, shoe, the shoes match the whip. Whip flipper skip. <laughs> You're good today. Talk to me, John. I'm, I'm what do you mean today? Oh, uh, drip for sure. That's a Prada, you know, that's a Prada double match right there. You look like the next uh, villain in the upcoming Batman movie or something. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. When they meet me, they're always like, I thought you were so mean because your pictures. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I wanted you to think. Put a smile on your face. <laughs> this is Skip for me. Okay. It's either that or the dude from Despicable Me. The, with the long legs, he's got the long legs, right? Grew, right? Yeah. I didn't see it. I have to respect- Is it a drip? Is no, that's what I'm about to say. Okay. <laughs> I have to respect the fact oh, that yeah. you did your own shoe and then you have the car wrapped in the design from your own shoe. I mean, I'm biased, man. It's a flex. I would have some people be like, oh, I hate this guy. This is things, this is things that people come to me in the streets and be like, and hate on. I'm like, bro, <laughs> why not? Like, why why would you not do it? This is a drip, man. I've only been there once. For real? You only been to Miami once? We gotta go to 11. Yeah, okay, let's go to yeah. 11. Outfit number three. Where is this? Is this the, the spot? Where this is, is in uh, Rincon, Puerto Rico. Shh. My, this mom, guy my mom was is visiting. She wanted to go secret spot master, right? Yeah. Here. I think I just took a picture just to get the wearing the mules. To be honest with you, what, I've been uh, what made you make the mules? If you don't mind me asking, I wanted to make a sandal, but I it, like there's not really much you can do with a sandal right now. I mean, it's just, unless you get like super Yeezy, like. Yeah. Right. And then some people are just gonna call you out for copying. Yeah, yeah pretty much. I mean, that's that's given no matter what. Right. They're like traveling, I travel a lot, so the mules are easy. And then in the house, you wear the slippers. Right. Uh, uh, drip, for sure. Well, T. I actually really like those mules, so chip. Ready to done? There's a slip. On. <laughs> Dude, man. I like these. At first, at first when I saw them, I wasn't a fan, but the more I saw them, I, I quite like these. I'll send you guys a pair. You wear them on a show. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, you're wearing them on the show. <laughs> 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 I'll send them to you, though. You don't got one. Oh, I like these. God. I told you I like them. I mean, yeah, the mules are hard, man. I mean, what you call it? They're, they're the only mules I own. So I was like, oh, damn, I got some mules now. I always was nervous that like, my foot would walk out of them, but they actually grip really nice yeah. in the toe box area. So that's pretty Toes cool. are strong? The, but the production of the, making those, out? you asked me questions about production for those, is mm -hmm. it's crazy because on a 12, you use a 13 sole because my foot kept coming out. So on a 12, like say you have a GF1 shoe and you have a mule, there'll be two different sizes because we use a bigger sole on the- Oh, uh, makes sense. Uh, yeah. But yeah, okay. John, before we get out of here for the day, we want to breeze the comment section and see what people have been oh, saying man. about us <laughs> on YouTube for the past week, which is always a fun time. We have one from Vlone Vino TV saying, this show is well needed. Shows that we need each other and can get together and that we don't gotta like the same thing and learn from each other. I feel like we learned from each yeah. other today. Oh, facts. Yeah. So, I thought you two were gonna come at me harder. <laughs> we're friends. <laughs> Wu-Tang saying is saying, I remember back before dad was on, I didn't like Welty. Oh, thanks. Now he's definitely the go to the show. Keep it uh, up, fellas. It turned out okay. Role reversal. Jordan Gutierrez says, I watch every episode with my wife. She refuses to subscribe because we watch it together. But if y'all call her out, she said, She'll subscribe. Miss Gutierrez, please make this happen for us. Miss Gutierrez. Do you read no hate ones? Um, there's the probably not. Then that's not fun if you don't read all the hate stuff. Um, yeah, my assistant <laughs> filters those out. I read them one by one. This make wifey subscribe. Our season premiere of, did we say 14? Season 14. A full size run, of course. I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm at Welty. Trinidad James, bitch! John Geiger. We're out. On every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. My island boys! <laughs> Just hanging out here on the couch. <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> Guys, this is season 14 and we need you, like we always do, every time we sit here. We're the new outcast, by the way. What? And I ask you to subscribe <laughs> to our show. You watch the episode, but your work is not done yet. We need your support now more than ever. Like all the videos. Comment on all the videos. Make your whole family watch all the videos. Only say good things about us. Put our show in your stories. Share it. Recycle it. Do it again. Start over. Watch the first season. Catch up. Family gatherings. Just throw it on for, for any reason. Island boy!